Hello, in this video we're going to do some examples of how to calculate the marginal opportunity cost. Okay, and The reason that we calculate the marginal opportunity cost is to, is to figure out who has the comparative advantage. Remember, comparative advantages says that tasks should be done by whoever has the lowest opportunity cost. Very important concept in thinking about international trade or running some kind of firm. Uh, so the formula here is what do we give up over what do we gain okay and really it's, this is the cost of, of doing some kind of task okay so in this case i've got two countries panama and honduras in this model and they can make shoes or ac units so that's important so a worker in panama can produce 300 uh, shoes per hour or three ac units a worker in honduras can produce 200 shoes per hour or uh, one AC unit per hour. So this is an or proposition. It, you know, workers try to do both. They're going to fall somewhere between. They're going to have lower numbers of both of these, uh, or they could specialize in one or the other. Okay. So let's say uh, we're talking AC units. So AC units for Panama. Uh, what can Panama do? So we just plug in the formula. What do they give up if they produce AC units or specialize in AC units? They would give up 300 shoes, and they would gain three. Um, AC units. So this is going to be three, so that's a hundred. Okay, now the AC for Honduras is going to be 200. That's what they give up over one. So this would be 200. So whoever has the lower number should do it, and that uh, is Panama. So, so Panama has comparative advantage when it comes to producing uh, the AC units. Now, what about shoes? So shoes in Panama is going to be uh, three AC units over 300 shoes is what we gain. And so this is one over 100. And then shoes in Honduras is one. They give up one AC unit over 200, which is just one over 200. And so the lower opportunity cost, the lower number here, is Honduras. So here's what should happen. Honduras should specialize in shoes even though they're actually not more productive at it. They don't have an absolute advantage. They're not better at it. And then Panama should specialize in AC units because they're much more productive and they have the comparative advantage. They give up the least uh, when they go ahead and produce it. So that's how to do that. Let's do one more. Uh, remember the formula. It's good to write it out a few times so you can memorize it if you need to memorize it on a Exam give up over gain, and this is our marginal opportunity cost. Okay, so if we want to make t shirts in this, then we've got Travistan and Arcadia, we've got t shirts and televisions. So if uh, Travistan wants to produce t shirts, specialize in t shirts, they're going to give up two TVs and they're going to gain. And then T-shirts in Arcadia, they are going to give up four TVs, and they're going to gain this. So this is 1 20th. Okay, so 1 25th is lower than 1 20th. It's a smaller number. And then uh, when we're producing TVs in Travistan, TVs in Arcadia, here we're going to give up 50 t-shirts we're going to gain that so it's 25 and then over here um, we're going to give up 80 t-shirts we'll get four to this is 20 and so uh, arcadia has the lower opportunity cost when producing uh, television so here's what should happen arcadia should produce televisions and this frees up Travis Stan to specialize in t-shirts and the, the reason we think about this and it's a good model in the long run Travis Stan's going to invest in in re capital resources or, or labor resources to, to hopefully increase this number and Arcadia can specialize in televisions and hopefully increase this number